So how can JavaScript handle multiple things at once if it's truly single threaded? You know, things like event handlers, promises, callbacks, things like that. Well, it's because of the event loop. It's the reason why we can write asynchronous code. The event loop is constantly checking two things, the call stack and the task queue. Plus there's a micro task queue, which I'll get to in a second. The call stack is where JavaScript runs your code. Anything that's running is in the call stack. When it's empty, the event loop tries to put things in there. It checks the task queue for any pending task like click events or timers and moves them into the call stack. There is also a thing called micro task queue where promise resolvers end up. And those have a higher priority in terms of what gets moved to the call stack. So these two keep track of all the async stuff. Basically the event loop manages what runs next. I have a long form video where I explain all of these things with so much more detail with about 400 or so animations. The link is in the comments, check it out if you want. And if you don't check it out, I'm not crying, you're crying. See you there.